I'm a six foot three, 185 pound cornerback out of Delaware. I'm mostly known for making big tackles and locking up any receiver I come up against. And I'm just not known for being a big playmaker. Going into my senior season with not one offer, not even having any interest from any school. I tried to bait this quarterback up, end up hitting me for a bomb up the sideline. But I come back later on late in the fourth quarter and get a clutch pick six for my team. This is my first pick and not only a pick, but my first pick six of my entire high school career. Just after that one pick six, I got interest from school that wouldn't even look my way. UMass, Army, and ECU. Just from that one game, I started to see the benefits of this play style. And in the third quarter, the very next game, I come back to get my second pick of the season. And just when I thought I was going to take it into the crib, the receiver I picked off come back from behind and tackles me and rips the ball loose and I fumble. But even with me fumbling that ball, we end up becoming a two-star recruit and getting the most attention we've gotten thus far. I even got my first three scholarship offers from FIU, Buffalo, and UMass. And at this point, I was hooked on the attention you get from becoming a big time playmaker and making plays like I have the last couple of games. And in the first possession in our game against Camden, I bait him up a little bit and I pick off this go route. As I'm going up the sideline, I cut it back field and it's looking like I'm gonna take this in for a pick six. But out of nowhere, the receiver from the complete opposite side of the field blindsided and tackles me from the side. And we come back a little later on in the first quarter again, we catch our second pick of the day. I balled out, but running back Mike Hickman for Camden, he balled out as well and we lost that game. My RPCS3 emulator froze and that game got completely wiped away. So the two pick performance that we had is gone. But after I loaded in and played the game again, we only got one pick this time, but we did make up for it with a forced fumble and 11 tackles, and that ultimately landed us to be a three-star recruit. So in just three games, I even got two more scholarships off from Nevada and Wake Forest University, and even gained more interest from schools like Louisville, Illinois, and Mississippi State. So far, this new play style has gotten me more attention than I've ever had in just three games out of the last three years I played in high school. My first couple of games where I ball out and then I open up the very next game in the first quarter with another pick six, bro. I'm balling out of control. I'm playing the best football I've played of my life. But when there's highs, there's of course going to be lows. And I think he couldn't even believe this was happening. And he drops a wide open touchdown pass. But a few plays later, I go down with an ankle injury and I end up sitting out the rest of the game. We end up taking the L. But the only good thing to come out of it is I received a scholarship offer from Louisville and received newfound interest from South Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. I didn't get to play much of the first half against Milton. So as soon as I was able to check into the game, I come in and make a huge hit on their running back. But once again, even with little play, I'm still getting a lot of offers from these big power five schools. And I receive a scholarship offer from the University of Georgia. And I still have interest from South Carolina and Tennessee and now the University of Alabama. I had no plans to go into Bama, but it just felt good to be able to have them as an option. So I put them on my list. Coming into our next game, against MHS. We're up 14 to 6 and right before halftime I give up a huge touchdown to their star receiver. I get back in time to make the tackle. He breaks it and still goes in for 6. With one second left in the fourth quarter. Quarterback lobs it up and throws a perfect pass and their receiver drops the ball. And we come out with a 21 to 17 victory. I ended the game with 6 tackles, 1 for loss and 1 and a half sack. And I'm officially labeled a 4 star recruit. Then I receive a scholarship offer from one of the first teams to recruit me, Boise State. And we have newfound interest from LSU, Oklahoma and Arkansas. So these last few games haven't been pretty, We're dealing with a little bit of injury and just going through a lot of adversity, but things still seem to be on the up and up for me. Even though I didn't play my best football, I still receive a scholarship offer from Alabama and Oklahoma. And I have newfound interest from LSU, Arkansas, and Florida State. So in our next game against Millsboro, in the beginning of the third quarter, I come in and get my fourth pick of the season. Not only do I get a pick, I get a pick six. And at this point, I'm determined to make big plays all game, especially with the lack of play the last few games. But when you play a super risky baby play style, some mistakes are are going to be made and i end up getting routed by this receiver this game is far from over millsboro marches their way down the field walks in for a touchdown to close up the lead and make it 17 to 21 so i bait up this deep comeback route to perfection but i miss time and i misjudged the ball but on the very next play my teammate comes through and get a clutch pick after that pick i thought the game was gonna be over and the offense is gonna run out the clock and we were gonna walk out of here with a dub but somehow offense turns the ball over and millsboro end up with the best field position they've had all game so me being me i try to make a big play i bait up this route down here in the red zone miss time and misjudge the ball again seven seconds left i caught myself trying to bait up this route and i get absolutely routed up by this receiver our quarterback had one more play to get it downfield and potentially score the game winning touchdown and he just takes a sack in the end zone and we lose the millsboro at home 27 to 24 once again i have a pretty big game with nine tackles one for loss and a pick six but we just fall short of the win my personal success is at a place i never thought it'd be i become a five-star recruit and after the game i run to lsu's head coach and he offers me a scholarship and i have newfound interest from florida Florida, USC, and Texas. Another three of the top 25 teams in the nation. Only a few more games until we head into the playoffs. And I'm determined to not only become the best cornerback in the nation, but secure my spot as a top player in the nation. And I find out I'm ranked number 106 out of the top 150 recruits in the nation. 
I'm on fire. I open up the next game and I end up getting this pick snatched away from me by this receiver. But now that I knew that this quarterback was going to test me, later on in the second quarter at the end of the half, this quarterback decided to throw a jump ball at me and my safety and I end up snagging it out of the air. I cut up the field going towards the sideline and make it a big return, but I get pushed out by one of the linemen before I could take it to the crib. I do my best to better this little out route. I didn't get back in time for the pick, but I do get back to make the big tackle on third down. Then later on in the fourth quarter, they try me with a go route. Quarterback throws a bomb. I step in front of the receiver and catch my second pick of the game. He tried my free safety the very next possession and throws another pick. At this point, the game is over. We're at 14-0 at the end of the game. And his quarterback is just feeling himself. He throws a deep ball to his receiver in the end zone. He makes a crazy diving catch for the touchdown. But we end up winning this game on the road 14-7 at Newcastle. And I probably have my best game I've had this season. Seven tackles, one for loss with two picks. Later that night when I got home, I got a call from the University of Florida's head coach. And that interest that they showed me at the end of my last game turned into a scholarship offer. And I have newfound interest from Wisconsin, West Virginia, and Washington. Now, even though the team is playing well, I'm having a lot of success, and I'm making big plays on the field, I have no idea what school I should go to. And after that game, I find out that ESPN has me ranked number 57 out of the top recruits in the nation.